In this video course, I will teach you exactly how to use Apply Tools with Selenium WebDriver to do automated visual validation testing. The techniques I'll teach in this course are the same exact automation techniques that I've used with Apply Tools to do 9,000 visual validations every two weeks. My name is Nikolai Advalavia. I am the CEO of UltimateQA.com. I've taught over 50,000 students in over 100 countries. And so in this tutorial, I'll take a complete beginner step-by-step -step through setting up a Visual Studio with Apply Tools, explaining how to do automated visual checks, showing stuff like match levels and floating regions, and I'll teach you about Test Manager and automating all of that. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and quickly talk about the prerequisites that you need in order to be comfortable taking this course. Uh, the very first thing you're going to need is a PC or a Mac in which we're going to write all of our code. I'm going to run this course on a P PC and with a Visual Studio version for PC. If you have a Mac, you can also do that as well. What's ultimately going to happen is for Mac, since I'll be using Visual Studio and C Sharp, is with the Mac version, you're going to need to download a Visual Studio Community Edition for Mac, and it will look a little bit different, and things might operate a little bit different because you're really going to be using .NET Core, which is for Mac versus .NET Framework, which is what I'm using with PC. Regardless, it's possible on both PC and Mac. However, if you have a PC, everything will match according to the videos, while on Mac, things will look a little bit different. Also, you need basic understanding of programming. I'm not going to be teaching any programming principles here. I'm going to be teaching this course with C Sharp. However, all of the concepts will apply whether you're using Java or Python or Ruby or whatever. It's all the same exact concepts. The Appy Tools API applies to all of the different language bindings. Um, so go ahead and use any language that you desire. And finally, you also need an understanding of Selenium WebDriver. I'm not going to be teaching any Selenium WebDriver in this course, but however, I will be using Selenium WebDriver to interact with our web pages. Cool. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into the course.